everybody. This is Joanna, and Nicholas just sat down here. Oh, what do you have here? What is that? Huh. Ooh, I don't know what that is. Okay, uh, sorry about that. Thank you so much for joining me for our January readings. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done readings. It's been since mid-July, and I really appreciate you coming back here to watch. Um, welcome if you've never been here before. And um, for those that are returning, also thank you so much for reaching out to me and for your concerns, your emails, um, checking on me, seeing how I was doing. Just thank you for your patience, your your love and concern. I, uh, I really do appreciate it. So um, I wanted to say that. Now, I am doing these obviously in December. Hopefully it won't take too long with Mercury retrograde, but... Uh, you know, with the upload times, but I wanted to wish you a happy new year. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started with these readings. Okay. All right. Take care. Bye. Hi, Aquarius. Happy new year. And uh, welcome to your January reading. Um, please bear with me. Um, I got a cold, so I'm recovering from that also. Um, now, I wanted to tell you how I'm doing these readings. So, I'm going to share with you some messages that I'm picking up prior to the reading. And then, when I do the spread, it's going to focus on love. So, one thing that I'm picking up for you is I feel like something's in the develop. Is that right? Developmental stages, like something's developing. And I feel like there's four stages for somebody. Like I'm getting one, two, three, four. So I don't know if somebody's like maybe doing a play where there's four acts or um, I don't know. I just get stage one, two, three, four. Maybe they're an actor and there's four stages. I'm because I'm seeing like a door with stage one, stage two. So there could be something that somebody's working on a movie, an actor, or you're a singer, or something like that. Something's in production or developmental stages of um, of an idea, of a business. It can even be a birth. I'm getting. So somebody may be pregnant or there may be news of pregnancy or somebody in the workplace or in the family that you hear or a friend, uh, something like that. Now, I'm also getting that for somebody, I feel like there's also a more productive way of doing something, but somebody's having a hard time letting go of like the old way of doing something. So... I feel like in the long run, it's going to become more simplified and even uh, more cost productive. Like it's it's going to benefit somebody in the in the long run. And the more you do it, the easier it will get. So that's another message that's coming to me. Uh, I do get that somebody is um, going to possibly have surgery, and I feel I feel like this is on the lower back, possibly the hand or the foot. And I also feel like somebody is dealing with a legal situation where there may be a lawsuit about. Uh, how somebody passed. So this has already happened, but I feel like maybe uh, this has to do with, uh, what is that? Like unlawful, uh, somebody should have known or been doing something in a medical way. Um, and so I feel like somebody's waiting to hear news about... Um, 
I'm not sure what the, the terminology isn't coming to me, but I do feel like there's somebody that uh, is waiting to hear from attorneys or maybe that's what the development, like the stages, somebody, um, maybe that has also, you know, with the four stages, there could also be somebody that had passed from, I think, cancer or, and that somebody should have known, maybe there was something that was read incorrectly and somebody has filed a lawsuit against that. The last message I'm getting is something about hearing, and this could be something regarding becoming Claire audience, or it's also coming across to me as uh, somebody may be going to school, like for medical school or speech pathology. Um, and I'm also getting something about like getting hearing aids or hearing aids adjusting. Um, but somebody may be able to hear sounds like that they hadn't been able to hear before. So these are just some messages that I'm getting for you, Aquarius. So let's take a look at this, the cards and see what comes up regarding love for January. Okay. I also feel like somebody has a hard time of letting something end, letting something, or maybe it's somebody, letting somebody go. Okay, I'm just being led to go ahead and, and, and take the cards out. The Seven of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. Let's see what's underneath. And the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. All right, Aquarius. So, well, this is really interesting because I feel like in January, some of you very much are assessing a situation. Remember I was talking about how it might be difficult to leave a situation behind? You definitely have a decision to make. Now, I feel like the power for some of you is in your hands. And it's interesting because it's the Ace of Swords. So I feel like to some degree it is. To others, I feel like this might be handed down from somebody higher up. So getting back to the legal situation. There may be, oh, okay, I just heard this. Okay, uh, there may be a legal situation regarding child support, uh, custody issues, uh, alimony. I'm also getting something, though, about paternity. Somebody's getting paternity testing done. So... And I feel like there's, you're waiting. So some of you, the decision is in your hands. For others, you're waiting to hear from the attorney um, or from a judge or a mediator. But I do feel like somebody is also possibly trying to maybe prolong things, especially with this card here being in my um, challenge position, like there's delays going on. Now, there could be delays just because in the court system, there are delays. There's a lot of red tape, you know, uh, things like that. But I do kind of feel like there could be delays because someone's trying to create some issues where they don't really need to be there. Like someone's dragging their feet. Okay. Um, now, for some of you, I do feel like it's a decision in terms of, now here we have the Queen of Cups and, of course, the Queen of Pentacles, male or female, these cards. And the Pentacles are the Earth signs. And the Queen of Cups uh, are the Water signs. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. Some of you may have a decision between two people. And they may be a water sign and the other one's an earth sign. 
So when it comes to love, you may have a decision to make. Now, I do feel that for somebody out there, you have been with somebody quite a while and you're deciding, do I want to keep investing my energy there or are you going to start something new? And that's probably why the ace is here, because this is a new beginning or the potential for something new. It depends on what you do with this. Um, so you may be thinking, you know, am I getting what I want? Am I getting what I need? Uh, I think that some of you may be pulled in a different direction because I'm hearing, especially with the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles here, I feel like somebody has your back very much, like your heart is is in one area, but then like when it comes to finances or, um, you know, issues where you can depend on somebody, like there's somebody that's there and they can pay the bills, they're working, um, they can pay, you know, the rent or the mortgage, the car note, you know, things like that. But I feel like in some aspects, your heart is somewhere else. And so you're torn. I feel like it, what's, what's really important is you've got to, you know, weigh your options. And obviously you've got to follow your heart. But I think that it's also, it's very important that you get a kind of, take a step back and get a clear mind about this. Because whatever the situation this is, you know, the sword, as I, and as it's often said, cuts both ways. So, you know, it's like you don't want to um, make more damage than what really needs to be done. And so what I always like to say is that if you're not happy in a situation, do your best to resolve that situation before creating another, if you can, because it just, then everything gets jumbled up. You can't see the forest through the trees. Your emotions are all involved and it just gets confusing and people get hurt, et cetera, et cetera. So I think that in January, there's a, there's a lot of um, assessing to do. Some of you, this... The, there may be a pause here, you know, you may need to kind of take a step back and, 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 and I, and really kind of deliberate. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm like, sometimes these, there may also be, I'm hearing a deliberation going on. Like there could be a jury deliberation going, getting back to the legal situation. So, um, I do feel like there may be some delays um, still coming in in January, uh, but I think that balance is going to be key. Uh, just know, you know, just make sure that you know where you stand um, and weigh your options before making a decision. Now, when reading for thousands of people, like I said, I believe I said this earlier, it could be that somebody else has a decision that will affect you. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a legal situation. Somebody else may be making a decision that affects you in a love situation, and you're waiting to hear from them. Maybe they're deciding, am I going to stay with this person or am I going to start something new with you, you know, and you're waiting to hear about that. So it's going to be different for whom this message even applies to. Uh, just remember, if you would like a private reading with me, I am doing um, the email readings where I take a snapshot of the spread. It's a little bit less expensive. It is just for love readings. Um, and it's a little bit less expensive than the video readings. And then I'm also offering the video readings. I'm not doing any live readings yet. But uh, just go to moonwatertarot.com and you can go under tarot services and take a look. All right. These are just some messages I'm getting. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. All right. Bye.